Today, we got five guns that pro players banned from the CDL because of how good they are. You can use them to dominate in pubs, ranked, against your friends, whatever you want. Let me show you. So to start off, we're going to be talking about the Goblin MK2. Now, this weapon is a semi-auto and it's very broken for two main reasons. Up close, it's a three-shot kill, which kills very quickly. So the time of kill is already absurd. On top of it, it has basically no recoil, as you can see. Semi-autos are usually instantly banned in the CDL by the pros or the league because of how broken they are. But let's talk about how you would build this. So we're going to be rocking the micro reflex because the micro flex is just the best outside, in my opinion, in the game. It's what all the pros rocking. Porter compensator because it's going to be the best attachment to control a semi-auto weapon. Reinforced barrel is almost always the way to go just because it gives you bullet velocity and damage range. But a lot of times the ARs, you can see the drop off for the, the three shot kill with the reinforced is at 7.6 meters, which is pretty close and long barrel ups it almost by another meter and a half. So you can choose between reinforced or long barrel. If you want to extend the damage range a little bit longer, it's not a bad idea. Next for the underbar, we're going to be putting on the vertical foregrip. The huge boost to horizontal recoil control is always nice. For the magazine, we're going to rock the extended max one, but the flip mag is good. The only con I will say to that is the fact that you're going to run out of ammo pretty quickly. And it's going to be a little bit annoying sometimes. We're going to be rocking the CQB grip. Probably my favorite one to rock, but ergonomic is also really good. And then for the stock, we're going to be rocking the balanced stock. Now, balanced stock is almost the same as light stock, but it's just a little bit better. Easy that boost the strafe and movement speed, which is nice as an assault rifle. And for the fire mods, we're going to be rocking the overpressured for the extra bullet velocity. Now, rapid fire is banned in the pro league and it's banned in most things. So even though rapid fire is a good attachment, I won't tell you to use it, but it is one you can use. Next, we're going to be talking about the Model L. Now, this gun was almost instantly banned by the pros. It kills fast. It has almost no recoil. The damage range and uh, the, just the range on itself is pretty absurd. You can like map. You see these targets like it's nothing. And mobility, everything overall, this gun is just really freaking good as an AR. And it's like, why run an SMG when you can run this gun? Kind of outclasses most of the ARs, and it's one of the best ones. So we're going to be rocking the micro flex, of course, for the red dot. For the muzzle, we're going to be rocking the compensator instead. But a ported compensator is always good. Compensator just overall gives you a little bit more boost to recoil control in general. For the barrel, we're going to be rocking the reinforced barrel. Huge boots, boost to bullet velocity while still giving you some damage range. Your bullets are just going to connect better, and obviously time to kill is nice. On the barrel, we're going to be rocking the vertical foregrip for the huge boost to horizontal recoil control, which is going to be very, very nice. Uh, for the magazine, we're going to be rocking the extended mags one for the huge boost in ammo. That way, you're not to worry about uh, losing ammo. Again, this is for gunfighter. Next, we're going to go to the rear grip, and we're going to rock the CQB grip stock there's a couple good ones right you can run the light stock or the balance stock uh, usually i like the balance stock just because it gives you that extra strafing and aim walking movement speed which is very nice on an ar and then for the fire mods we're gonna be rocking the recoil springs now after you put all these attachments you can kind of saw that the recoil was a little wobbly at first but this thing becomes an absolute laser as you can see makes it very easy to hit your targets like it's no problem and this thing i will tell you is a problem on the map and you're gonna dominate next let's talk about the tanto the absolute demon of a weapon this gun is op for well one of the biggest reasons it's a three shot kill smg um which if you know can kill very quickly now it does have a drop off at a certain range but up close you're absolutely deleting people just kind of like that goblin but let's show you how to build this gun so it's even more dominant so we're going to be rocking the compensator right off the rip. This attachment just gives you good, you know, recoil control uh, for the barrel, reinforced barrel. Now, what I will say is bullet velocity is nice and it's going to help your bullets connect more. But if you want to extend a three shot kill by one extra meter, you could put on the long barrel. It might make a difference in some fights. It may not on certain fights. So outer again, reinforced or long barrel are both good under barrel. We're going to be rocking the vertical, but you can also run the Ranger foregrip. It's going to give you a boost a little bit of strength and movement speed. This gun doesn't really have that much recoil, so running a Ranger is not a problem at all. You can run the Fast Mags 1 to give you a little boost to sprint to fire, ADS, and reload quickness. You lose five bullets, I believe, over extended mags. Uh, for the rear grip, you can run the CQB. Again, just such a great attachment on almost any weapon as long as you're being aggressive. For the stock, we're going to be rocking this big old massive balance stock. This is an amazing stock that's going to help you 
just have everything right movement speed hit fire movement speed strafing movement speed aim walking movement speed and on a smg it's just it's basically a, a no stock on steroids it's very good and then for the fire mods again this gun does not need as much recoil and you want more bullet velocity to have your bullets connect better so when you put all these attachments this thing is going to be even better you can see it has like almost no recoil now shoots pretty damn straight kills very quick reloads quick ads is fast and this thing is going to be a problem now if you are playing pubs especially you probably want to put the extended mags one on but if you're not this class is good for like tournaments wagers ranked all that good stuff next we're going to be talking about the as valve now this con is a demon sub ar hybrid now when you have no attachments on this thing it feels a little bit rough at first you know mag is low uh recalls a bit because it shoots very fast so i'm going to give you guys a god pill to dominate with it for the barrel pop on this bad boy suppressed reinforced barrel first of all it's a built-in silencer second of all huge boost of bullet velocity and damage range that thing is badass next you're gonna want to put the vertical foregrip for a huge boost to horizontal recoil because we want to control this bad boy it's gonna be a kick uh for the mag you want to run extended mag 2 it's gonna put it all the way to 40 bullets from 25 mag 3 just feels a little too slow but if you feel like you can deal with it you could put the mag 3 i would recommend the mag 2. uh for the rear grip again cqb grip very good attachment for stock there's a couple choices you can go with no stock or combat stock or balance stock i would say between no stock and balance stock again i just like balance stock overall no stock i will recommend more for like smgs you know you get a little bit boost in movement speed you get a little bit aggressive but balance stock just has good strafing capabilities next for the fire mods we're gonna go down all the way to the recoil springs now this obviously is just very nice attachment so you can control it and dominate rapid fire i don't know if you try this yet this thing makes it crazy up close like time to kill becomes absurd but obviously you lose a lot of stuff that kind of affects the range so i really recommend you rock the recoil springs now if you try this gun you're gonna see the recoil control is definitely more manageable as i'm lasering these targets a little bit better now 40 bullets i'm able to take out three targets pretty easily and you can just see man this thing is a freaking beast and there's a reason why they didn't want it in the league this gun is a problem, especially versus SMGs. And people are going to be like, why run an SMG one? You can just run this bad boy. And the last one, the XM4. Now, this is the first gun you unlocked. I remember using this gun when the game came out. And I was like, yo, this gun is kind of nice. I used the default class for the first like 20 levels. I got gold on it right away. And this gun definitely is damn pretty damn good. And for good reason, you know, this again is another gun. Like, why use an SMG when you can use the XM4? So there's different ways to build this gun. I really like Compensator, but you could rock Ported Compensator if you want. For the barrel, we're going to be rocking a reinforced barrel to give it a boost to both. Under barrel, vertical foregrip. Again, Ranger foregrip is good for more movement speed. It just depends how aggressive are you playing with this weapon. Usually don't need a Ranger though. Vertical foregrip should be good enough. Extended Mag 1, just because you run out of ammo quickly and there's no cons to Extended Mag 1, which is really nice. For the rear grip, we're going to be rocking that CQB. Again, just a huge boost to everything. It's absolutely incredible. For the stock, we're going to be rocking the balance stock. Again, ARs, balance stock, just great. Love the strafing speed. Still addition to movement speed and all that. It's great for ARs. And for the fire mods, we're going to be rocking the recoil springs. Now, this gun is really strong. You can see it right here. It's a five-shot kill at 8.4 meters uh the bullet velocity is good the fire rate is high it has very low recoil it just it's just really good and obviously it has a great handling so this gun when you use it you can see um the recoil is like once you have these attachments very very low i'm able to laser these targets like it's nothing uh time to kill looks good and it's just like these ars in this game are just insane like the ars are just so dominant and that's why four out of the five guns that i showed you guys today they're very op and you can use to dominate yourself there's a reason why they're banned look at this thing today's video was a little different i decided to give you guys the most broken and op weapons and i hope you enjoy it go dominate with them this video boy IP. i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll catch you guys in the next video and as always don't forget to subscribe thank you